Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to the pit. Yes indeed, we're here with our scout, we've gotten to the end of floor number 9, we're getting down to floor number 10, where undoubtedly nasty things are bound to happen. We found a bunch of nice things here, we've got a whole pile of auto, auto pistols for some reason, we've got three of them now. We've also got a mag pistol, a laser carbine, a Durablade, a bunch of energy backpacks to recharge this sucker, and some nice armor, we've got a whole pile of stuff. We're going to have to probably start uh, prioritizing some of it and getting rid of some other things, but for the time being, we'll make do with what we got. As it stands, though, we kind of need food. Not super badly. We do have a bunch of ingredients we could use if we need to really get food in a hurry, but I kind of want to make some hero sausages if we can, but we'll have to wait and see. As it stands, though, job is just to go deeper, as they say. Here we go. All right, so we've got a Hiver worker over there. We have a Tarka test subject over here and a Strangler here. None of these are things we really want to get too close to. This guy's a shotgun. So if we stand over here, he'll probably attack the Strangler for us. So what we're going to try, this is a bit silly, is we're going to try and attack the Hiver Worker first. It's most likely these they're going to attack them both of us, and if we can kill this person first, that'll be the best priority. I'm not sure if it'll work perfectly, but it might. And there goes the shotgun. Did hurt the Strangler like I expected. Can we take out? Yes, we can take out the Hiver. Now we should be able to take out the Tarka before too much else happens, although that Strangler is running off. We don't want him to get health. There we go. That guy's dead. We did reload. Or we did level up, so we can level up and get our health back that way. Okay. That could have gone much worse, I have to say. We only have... Oh, we have a bunch of shots left. Good. I thought I only had one, like, one clip left for the mag pistol, which is not great, but that's fine. We're not using the thing much anyway. If we have more than I that, anyway. My goodness, words are not happening properly today. We're going to need our soul force reactions, because they're not... Soul force rations, because they're not good for anything else anyway. See if we can get into this pantry using our digital assistant, which helps boost our computer skill, which is kind of nice. And then potentially use the kitchen. Ah! A Leer Amino Drink. I'm not entirely sure. This is the healing boost. Yes, it also feeds you. We'll take one of these. There's a chance of failure because it's based on your biotech skill, but we have a pretty decent chance of it working, and it did, no problem. What can we cook? Lots of things, but they're both mostly based on meat. So if we cook up this cooked meat, we only have one, that will probably reduce our, most of our options. If we come back here now, yeah, we can basically make more aggressive antibiotics, damper patches, or salt switches. I think we'll make another aggressive antibiotics, not that we really need more. Five is the max you can have in one stack anyway, but it never hurts to have more of these, because later on you may find yourself getting a lot of nasty diseases. So that's that fix, and maybe we'll come back and use that for food later on, if we need it. As it stands, though, we should be doing pretty okay here. Let's open up this room and see what's in here. This is just a, ooh, hello, just a uh, staff room, so there shouldn't be anything too nasty in there. He dropped a grenade and bread, which is awesome, so we can steal both of those, come back and deal with this rat, although it seems to have run off somewhere. Where did you go, rat? I don't know. Is this an adaptoid? No, it's actually an armor locker. That might be really good. If we can get anything out of that, that would be very helpful, because while your, decent, while your starting armor is decent, it isn't really good. And if we can get good armor instead, we'll be much better off. It's much harder to kill you when you have more powerful armor. We're going to waste the charge hub here just to power up our computer skill a little bit more. We can actually recharge our thing, except I thought it had more charges left in it, so that was kind of silly of me, but whatever. We're going to come over here, and we might try and use this right now. If we try and activate it with a digital assistant, we're up to 75% chance of success. We might wait and see if we can get better, because that would be nice. I can use the lab station, but I might come back for that as well, because we might be able to find some more gear. Hello, more confused Tarkas. Let's try and kill them. I do feel kind of bad for the Tarka, because they don't really know what's going on. But we can't leave them around here, because, ow, those bullets hurt. And that one's dead. Excellent. Don't see anything in here yet, although there is apparently a stasis pantry. We'll grab that bread, and hello, robots. You need to die. We have a lot of bullets, which is nice. We don't have to worry too much about conserving ammo. But it isn't a good idea to waste it unnecessarily still. Kill off this Zool pup. Get out of here. Get out of here, you blue crazy animal. And a Protean. No, thank you. You're dead. Excellent. There's a rat. I'm not too worried about him, though. We can take him on in close combat. Ah! A waste management man, man, bleh, waste management bot. They can potentially be dangerous because if they shoot you, they give you radiation poisoning. By shoot you, I mean they attack you in close combat. But if they attack you, they can have poten potential to give you radiation poisoning, which is generally not good. Oh! For a second there, I thought that stasis pantry... Oh, hello. Hmm. Yeah, Alright, there's a large Protean down there. We need to kill him. We're probably going to be backing up from him pretty safely here. Oh, a whole bunch of enemies. As long as they don't pin me or grab me, I should be fine here. The potential for taking a lot of damage is definitely here, though. Thankfully, I can... Ah, no! Ouch! I can switch guns now, so they can't do too much to me at this point. There we go. Okay. 
Okay, now we can go back to the Durablade and kill off this rat, kill off this guy. I'm still not worried about my health be damaged because I do have this level up. Okay, now I'm a bit worried about my health. We're going to level up here just to make sure we're not in too much trouble. Level up the Might as always. What are we going to put points into? Foraging, of course, because you always need foraging. Blade, because our blade skill is definitely not where I want it yet. And then we'll do, I guess, lockpick electronics, mechanical computer, pistol, and rifle. <laughs> Seems solid enough to me. All right. Well, with that said, I guess we back up and keep shooting these guys, because I really don't want to get hit more than I need to, especially not by all of them. If our armor is getting weaker, we have the risk of it getting destroyed soon, and that would not be good. There we go. They're all dead. How is our armor doing? Ooh, 17 out of 80 durability. I really need to get that thing repaired. I can potentially go up to a previous level and try and get them repaired. I heard a robot noise. Where are you, robot? There you are. They probably came back in response to the alarm we triggered. Oh, goodness. Look at all those robots. Nope, thank you. I'm not interested in all of these robots. I can't get another line of sight, though, right now. Ow. Thankfully, most of those missed. Um, yeah, this isn't great. We should be able to potentially take them out with the mag pistol, so we're going to try. Please get one shot. No, he survived. Ow, those bullets hurt. That'll kill him. There's no point in wasting. Oh, my goodness. So many things. There's no point in wasting our rare mag pistol shots to finish them off if we can't kill them in one shot anyway. So we'll switch back to the normal auto pistol for that. Come on, stinkers. Ouch, we're getting beat up so badly here. Taking so much damage. There we go. Okay, they're dead. Oh, that's the problem with alarms. Setting off alarms brings every robot nearby over to you. And that can be a problem if you're not ready to deal with like 50 jillion robots. And that's a giant protean. Those guys are bad. That's not a good thing, so we're going to just take a whole bunch of movement actions to get out of this guy's range, because we really don't want to get hit by him. He hits a billion times and wrecks all your stuff and grabs you so you can't get away. So whatever happens, we definitely don't want him to grab us. What we're going to try and do is we're going to try and make our way down here, and then we can potentially fight him from somewhere we can actually evade in. Come on, Protean. Get over here. Turn around. Oh, hang on. Oh, work. Why do you call me when I'm so busy trying to kill Proteans? Either way, let's get moving here. Come on now, where are you? Where, where'd you go? I'm just going to wait here. There we go, Till he shows himself. Then we should be able to deal with him. So this Protean is nasty if he gets to us. He's going to eat a ton of our bullets. But it's better that than get hit by him. Eventually, he will start bleeding as well. And then he'll split into two smaller Proteans. But for the time being, we're mostly safe. Especially because we can now run him in a loop here. And he won't be able to really catch up to us too well. So that is definitely good. He's going to keep coming, though, so we're going to have to keep dealing with it. Now he's starting to bleed, so he's going to split into two smaller proteins soon, which isn't the end of the world, but could be a problem if we're not ready when it happens. So we can just circle around him so we get a nice long avenue to shoot at. There we go. He's now two proteins. Now this is where shotguns are incredibly useful, and they're one of, one of the reasons why the shotguns are one of my favorite weapons, because if there's two enemies stacked in the same tile like this, using a shotgun on them will hurt all of the people in that tile. We could also use grenades, but there's a lot of nice things in there I don't necessarily want to lose, so we're just going to keep shooting him with bullets, I think, for now. Now they're going to split up, and hopefully they both come towards us. No, it doesn't look like they're going to cooperate like that. All right, well, we're going to kill this one off. That should give us a turn now to kill one of them before they start to move. Then the other one should come towards us. Good, we can kill it. It didn't die, and thankfully it missed us. Okay, that could have been bad. We can use this time to reload both of our guns, because they can't move too fast. Both the uh, second and third tier of Proteans can only move one space per turn, which makes them a little bit less dangerous than they otherwise might be. But they're still pretty nasty. All right, there's one dead. And another one survived. Jeez. I'd love to just sword them to save the bullets at the end, but, like I mentioned earlier, if you sword a protean, your sword just takes damage because it's getting dissolved by the acids the proteans are made of. So that doesn't work out so well for you. And there's so many enemies around here, jeez. Come on, I know you like to come rush me all at once, but enough's enough. Alright, some dead Zul and a dead rat. It's a resilient rat, actually. It took a whole blade to the face. And this is why knives stop being effective. If they can take a whole slash from a dura blade, they're definitely going to take three or four from a, uh, a knife. Medical locker. What do you got in here for me? Mmm, good. Tarkin field surgery kits. These are really big med kits. But what's good about them is that you can use them instantly, just like things like nanomeds. So they take up a lot of space, and they heal a decent amount, but the big deal is that they heal instantly, so you can use them in combat. Alright, what we're going to do... Can we reload a pistol or something to get rid of that inventory space? We're going to start running into inventory problems very soon. 
it's partially because we don't really have a whole lot of might, which determines your inventory size, and partially because we've got a whole lot of junk in here. So I think what I'm going to start doing is getting rid of the things that I don't think are going to be as useful to us, or when I start eating some of the things that are superfluous, that's an easy way to do it, but there's nothing good in there to eat anyway. Hmm. I guess what we could do then, I kind of could get rid of one of these pistols, I don't need to have three. And my armor is going to break soon, so when that breaks, we'll have four new slots anyway. But that's not a good situation. We want to try and avoid that if at all possible. What are we going to do here? How are we going to organize this? We could try and get rid of the serum, potentially. It's mostly used for crafting, and I don't think we need it. So we'll get rid of that. And what else are we going to get rid of? We could get rid of the bindings, the bone slivers. Bone slivers are pretty easy to get, and we don't really need them for much. But I think what we'll do is just get rid of these two pistol rounds. They don't take up... They don't do too much for us, and they take up a bunch of space. So we're going to get rid of those. We'll grab this instead. Of course, watch, this gives me pistol rounds, and I'll have to get a new slot for them. Yes, it does! And a an weapon biomod as well. Okay. I think we're going to just trash this knife, because it's not going to be useful at this point. We'll drop it here. We can grab it later if we really need it, but I doubt we'll ever come back for it. There's only eight pistol rounds there, but it's better than nothing. And time to keep moving, I guess. We have a medical bay here, which could potentially have some nice healing in it for us, if we can actually succeed in fixing those broken systems. We'll have to get in there and take a look, though, if we can kill off these nasty things. There we go. There's a single med bay in here. 50% chance to fix it. Let's try. We're probably not going to succeed, but who knows. And no, it's broken for good. All right. Well, it was worth a shot. We have a yellow door trap here. I'm not interested in setting that off, so we're going to smack it with our Durablade until it stops working. There we go. And now we can come in here. There's not a whole lot in here, just some storage pods, but who knows what they might have inside. This one has primordial soup, which is an interesting crafting item we can use for a variety of things. We'll go back and get that in a second. And this one has another orange biomod and chitin! <gasps> yes! This is the most important thing we found literally all game. Alright, chitin is amazing. Finding that is a huge deal. We're going to get rid of this acid sack, so we don't really need those. We're going to grab the chitin. Yes, please. All right, we're going to come back here in a second. Right now, I need to go build that armor, because if we can make chitin plate armor, we will be so much better off. That stuff is amazingly high-tier armor. We don't have to worry about this armor lab early anymore. Chitin plate armor, yes, please. What are the odds? 60, ooh, only 68%. That's not great. <sighs> Maybe we'll hold on to it a little bit longer then. Because if we can get that chitin plate armor working, that is such a good, such a big deal too. It has like 100 durability, 100 armor. It's major deal for your survivability going up. So that would be nice. I'm also going to trash this aggressive antibiotic. I don't need a second stack of it. I just wanted to fill up the one I had already. Four primordial soups. That's quite nice actually. But yeah, if we can get our uh, our mechanical skill up before we try and make that armor, that would be very nice. I'd be surprised if we can do a whole lot about it, but we might level up before then, so we'll have to go back and see. And we've messed up another thing, setting off another alarm. Unfortunately, this looks like it's a bay full of robots, and I can hear robots. There you are. Okay, I saw the robot there. Come back, shoot the robots. Get out of here, robots. That's right, go home. You're drunk. You're dead. Okay, we got a radiation bay here, which could be dangerous. These guys often have big proteans and other kinds of nasty creatures in it, but it looks like this one is more or less safe. This chem pod here is basically just a trap in case monsters come close to it. It'll trigger on them and do damage and whatnot. We can try and booby trap it to boost our traps skill, I believe, and give us some free experience. The biopod has things like primordial soup and uh, that genre of test tubes in it. This one has exotic proteins. There we go. They don't normally have anything really particularly useful in them, but those uh, test tubes are useful for creating certain crafting recipes anyway. So they're better than nothing. Now, we're not finding a whole lot here. There's a little bit left in this top corner of the map, but I'd be surprised at this point if we're actually able... Oh, there's robots in here. Surprised at this point if we're able to really get our level up in time to make use of it, but we'll have to wait and see. Now, there are robots in here. There they are. Get out of here. Go home, robots. Are there more robots in here? Yes. Oh, goodness. Morgi drones. These guys hurt. These guys fire big, nasty lasers at you, and they can do some pretty serious damage if you're not lucky. So we're probably going to try and gun him down pretty quick. We'll take out our mag pistol here and use that. The more damage is good. See, two lasers there. That hurts, and that does armor damage each time, too. All right. We got a element X from him, though, which is very useful. That might enable us to make a lifter pack as well as making our uh, chitin armor, which is huge. Another energy backpack. I might just dump some of the energy backpacks because we're probably not going to use that many of them. Oh, so much ammo. This is great. This is actually really useful. Energy cells. Yeah, this is a good room. I like it. Is there anything useful in this weapon locker? Please have something. <laughs> Another auto pistol. Guy, game, I don't think you realize I don't need a bajillion 
a bajillion of these pistols. Uh, okay, well, we'll take it anyway, I guess. And we'll take some of the other stuff here. We'll grab the ammo, at least. There's a whole ton of ammo on the ground here. We can't leave that lying around. So this is the exit room, so we have to come back here anyway. There's an energy backpack and an auto pistol if we want them. We have three auto pistols already. I should really dump one of these, because there's no way we're going to need three of them. But, uh, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. You can keep pushing up. There's a, ooh, a security station up here, whatever this is called. The, uh, armory? I'm not entirely sure. I can never remember some of these specific names. Knife that robot. There we go. This is an armory. I was right. Now, one of these things is probably going to be a adaptoid, because they're jerks and like to hide in rooms like this. Maybe this thing? Nope, that's actually a thing. Can we open this one? 99% chance. Looks like we should be able to. Yes, we can. We get ourselves more primordial soup. They stack in sets of five, I believe, so we can't get more than that. What's in this one? This one has another weapon biomod. Okay. This is an alpha locked door, so if you find an alpha key, you can use it to unlock those. But I generally don't like getting keys anyway, because like I mentioned, they stop you from using things you otherwise would be able to. I think we're actually going to dump one of these auto pistols. We'll, we'll dump the damaged one. These ones are both in perfect shape, so we don't need those. Actually, we'll dump the target pistol. We don't need that. Drop it. All right. That'll be fine. We can make do with no target pistol, because basically that's just a downgrade from a weapon we've already got. There's no reason to really use the target pistol unless you really only want to shoot a single bullet. Also, our food is at one, so I guess we'd better eat something. We'll eat some of this meat. That'll tide us over until we can get something better. If we can get to a actual kitchen, we'll be able to make some nice things because that will give us access to all manner of uh, recipes we can now make with all of these things we found. But for the most part, we're trying to get other kinds of food with our sandwiches. All right, let's try and get into this armor system. I guess it's worth it to try regardless. Can we get something? No, the tailoring system shreds the armor, which basically means we opened it but failed to find anything, I think. I see that one all the time now, which is really disappointing. If we come in here, what do we get? We can probably make... Oh, we can't make a lifter pack either. That's strange. What are we missing for the lifter pack? Nano wire? Nano fiber thread? I think... Yeah, we're missing the nano wire. Yeah. Apart from that, we have everything to make a lifter pack, though, and that thing will be nice once we can get it. But for now, we are going to make a chitin plate armor, and we're going to hope for the best. If this fails, we're going to be in trouble. If it succeeds, we're going to be really well off. Please succeed. Please succeed. Yes! Chitin plate armor! Thank goodness. Dumping this. Don't need that anymore. Thank you very much. Taking the chitin. 180 durability. My mistake. 100 armor. It's light, it's amazing, this is really good armor. Really good armor. Having chitin plate armor is a huge deal. All right, now we're nice and green as well. We got our full body armor. Funny thing is, this looks like full body armor, but if you look at it in the info, it isn't actually a contained suit. So things like gas effects can still affect you. There are some contained suits which protect you from those effects, but this one is not one of them, despite the fact that it does have a helmet on the armor. But... This is way better than the armor we were using previously, so this should make us much harder to kill. Much harder to kill. So that's amazing. All right. We could pick up another auto pistol if we really want. We could pick up another energy backpack, but that's kind of silly because we have two already and only one gun that we're maybe going to be using some of the time that uses the ammo. So there's no point in picking that up at the moment. All right. We're looking pretty solid here, guys. Pretty darn solid indeed. Let's go down another floor and see if we can't find any more stuff. More stuff down here we'll be able to use. Oh, hello, Protean. You're getting bullets. Let's back up here and bullets that protean. Awesome. And we will knife us some rats. There we go. Get out of here, rats. No one loves you. All right. Clearing out this first area. These guys are going to keep rushing us, so there's no real issue here. We'll just have to deal with them when they come. Can we get anything in the freezer? Yes, there is a food pellet or two. Good. Four food pellets. We'll just chug all of those. Excellent. That's much better for our food situation. There are apparently more hivers around here, or maybe clone workers. I'm not sure. I can hear them, but I can't see them. More Primordial Soup, another Weapon Biomod. We're going to accumulate a lot of Biomods here. Until we can actually put them to use, they're just going to pile up in our inventory. Where are we in the map? We're about here. Okay, we'll go up first. Because, uh, yeah, until we can identify them, it really doesn't pay to try and use them. And once you can use them, they're amazing, but getting to that point can be a bit of a pain. Kill off that maintenance bot. There's another Alpha Key. We do not want that, because once you pick it up, you can't drop it. It goes down here. It's not actually in your inventory and it stops you from getting any experience from any of the doors on that floor, like I mentioned earlier. All right, hello, nope, that's not okay. Wait a minute, sword damage? I don't have a sword. This is a Dura Blade. There is an item called sword, but I don't have one. 
so I don't know what that's all about. But that's okay. We are going to try and gun down this clone worker nice and quick. Hopefully he won't be able to hurt us too hard. We are taking a bunch of damage, but we do have some pretty decent medical supplies if we need to heal in a hurry. Kill off the Tarkins. The problem with this crazed Tarkin is the crazed Tarkin females have a tendency to just shoot everything in the room. So if you don't kill them quickly, they can actually do some serious damage to the things around you, which you may you may want to actually gain whatever may be hidden inside. If they had just shot at the ammo crate, for example, we might not have been able to open it. I'll open it now, just to make sure. And there's more ammo in it. More rifle rounds. We really don't need them, because we have no guns that use rifle rounds, but eventually we might. Let us knife this thing into tiny bits. Come on here. Get knifed. There we go. And more rooms up above. All right, let's keep moving. There's more to find here, I'm sure. We are low on health, though, so rather than be silly and charge forward blindly, or they you take a couple charges out of this med kit. Hello, robots. I heard you. Coming around the corner here, take another charge of this med kit. <laughs> Especially if there's robots around, we want to have as much health as we can have on hand. I still don't see them anywhere. There you are! Alright, time to bring out the laser carbine, thank you very much. And we're going to back up a little and zap them. Excellent, he's going to shoot at us, that's fine, doesn't hurt too much because we have better armor now. That better armor is going to make it a lot easier for us to actually survive these various encounters. And we'll kill these guys off. Alright, get out of here. Get, get out of here. There you go. Yeah, that would have done much more damage if we only had half the armor. Presumably it would have done double the damage, but that depends on how high the penetration of the weapon they're using is. Because just like us, these enemies actually do use the weapons that we use. They just have infinite ammo and whatnot. For example, if we go into our weapon log, you can see if that guy was using a, you know, auto rifle or what specifically he was using. Once we've cleared out all these Zul infants, we'll go check it out. Get out of here. Alright, if we check out here in our SOTS decks... We can see in the monster's log, if we were to pick someone like that robot we just fought, who is a medium security bot Mark I, he was using an auto rifle and has a vibro sword. So those are the two weapons that he's actually attacking us with, and that determines how his armor penetration is and all that kind of stuff. There's another clone worker. We'll gun them down. We do have like 300 ammunition for our auto pistols, so we can afford to use a couple bullets to kill off enemies, which is always nice. Running low on ammo is one of the most stressful things in this game because there's not much you can do about it until you manage to find some more, and not having some can be seriously problematic. Let's get through here, though, and if we can't find some good stuff in here, I'd be surprised. There's some safe cheese. That's something. <laughs> not exactly what I was hoping for, but we'll take it, I guess. And people were complaining in the comments for the first video, this HE grenade isn't a high-energy grenade, it's a high-explosive grenade, apparently. But I always pictured it as high-energy grenade, because there's nothing here that actually says high-explosive grenade. So I just figured that's what it was. Either way, that doesn't really matter. We're going to keep pushing forward here, though, and see what we see. Can we get this thing working? No, we exploded. Thankfully, the explosion happened over here. It didn't actually hurt us, so that worked out nicely. Okay, we have a bunch of gun parts, which is just a... Uh, rifle parts. Gun parts is a smaller one, which is just a crafting ingredient. But if we can potentially make a shotgun or a rifle out of it, that we actually use these ammos, uh, these ammos, that would potentially be a good thing. So we'll hold on to them for now. I think what we'll do, though, is we will need to eat something. If we can eat something out of our inventory, that would be good. But most, mostly what we have is bread, which is incredibly valuable. This Tarka War bread is really good because of the fact that you can cook it into different things. I could eat these fat strips, but they're really not healthy as they are. Mmm. I don't know. We kind of want to get rid of more of this stuff, but I'm not too worried about it at the moment. Safe cheese is not a big deal. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to drop something, pick up the safe cheese, eat the safe cheese, and then pick up another thing. Now, what I did just there, to pick up a specific item, was to hit Control g If you hit Control g when there's multiple items on the ground, you can pick up one specifically out of the heap. So if you've just dropped something, you don't want to pick it up again, you can pick up something else that way. And see, this guy doesn't even hurt us anymore. His attacks do, like, one to... Ouch, that hurt. <laughs> Spoke too soon, I guess. But his attacks are doing one damage to us there, because... We have this amazing armor now. We can actually completely negate some damage. I don't know why I shot him, but that's fine. So that is a great thing about this armor. No, I didn't want that key. Oh, I thought it was far enough away. Dang, nabbit. All right, well, that's a bit of wasted experience. But there's nothing we can do about it now. Like I said, it appears down here, and I just can't get rid of it. It's, it's stuck in our inventory until we finish this floor. So that's a bit of wasted experience, but other than that, it's not too bad. Gun down some more robots. We did level up, so if we take a bit more damage, we can use the level up to clear that. But if we get rushed, we might be in a bit of trouble. Get out of here. That's what I meant. All right. All right. All right. Can we find anything else useful? Ooh, two computers in here. We might, be actually, might actually be able to get one of those this time. 
We can activate the lab. I don't think we'll get any more free experience from doing so. Well, we did. Interesting. We did actually get some free experience. We're probably going to stop getting free experience soon, but we might as well just burn as much as we can now. Are you going to give me more? Yes, you are. Awesome. I do like free electronics experience. Electronics and computers are nice things to get free experience in because they're very handy in doing a variety of things later on. And labs, like I said, are great for it because they're really easy to activate and they have a lot of charges. All right, console. We have a digital assistant now to help us with activating you. Come on now, actually work. Perfect. This is the first time this episode we've actually managed, or rather this series, we managed to successfully access a computer. So this is what you see. These are all the messages I've decoded. There's a whole heap ton of them. Green ones are ones that have been fully decoded, like this one. Whereas uh, blue ones are ones that have only been partially decoded, like this one. Ones with this symbol on the side means that they're recipes, and these ones mean that they're just kind of story. Now, if we come over here, this one is fully encrypted still. We've never seen it before. We have an option of decrypting. If we decrypt it, we have to use our decipher skill to decode it. And basically, your chance of success determines how many of the words you're able to successfully decipher at any given try. And you can only try once every time you find it in a computer. So if we decipher it here, we will get a couple words. And this apparently does something, but I don't know what it is yet. So we'll have to try and find more of it later once we have better decipher skill. We're going to try and activate this computer as well, see if we can get whatever's hiding in this. Yes, we can. Another fully encrypted thing. Let's see if we can get on this one. 84%. So generally, as a general rule, if they're easier to decipher, it's because they're just story. If they're harder to decipher, it's because they're a recipe. But that's not exactly always a rule. So we'll try and activate it here and see what it says. Experimental report. This far, the indigenous sonic nodule has been successfully incorporated into the hand stunner, the rage beam, the something resonator, and a tasty chewing gum. Yes, this basically is one of the uh, occasional items you get that tells you all of the different recipes that something can be used for. I've seen a couple of these by now. I've never, I have the hand stunner recipe. I have never seen the rage beam, but I believe it just makes an enemy berserk. The chewing gum is used to negate a specific status effect, I believe, and I'm not sure what this resonator is all about. Either way, it's kind of interesting. I'll have to find out more about that later, maybe. Can we open up this chem pod without getting horribly murdered? Yes, we can. We got more exotic proteins. We need a ton of those things. How many have we got now? Six? Okay, these stack in higher stacks. I forgot about that. Primordial soups are five. Chem, uh, exotic proteins are more. This is a robot. An adaptoid, specifically. We're going to shoot it. See? Stinking adaptoids. Get out of here. No one loves you. Get away. Hiding in things I think I can open. I'm generally surprised when the adaptoids let you... Oh, stinking armor. All right. There's an acid spray there. Damages our inventory. I'm generally surprised when adaptoids let you get right up next to them and don't activate. Because that's the whole point of them. They're trying to catch you off guard. But apparently that one was not interested. There are robots nearby. It sounds like there's more of the drones, which is nasty. They're going to be doing some serious laser damage. And this guy does not want to die. There we go. Can we open this? Yes. There's probably Morgi drones in there, so we don't want to go too close. A damper patch will be useful later on for getting rid of radiation, but for now I'm not going to worry about it. Hello. Get rid of here. Virus, I'm not interested in dealing with you today. There we go. And robots, get out of here. That's what I'm talking about. Grab our cell. Oh, I can't carry any more giant mitochondria. I already have a full stack. That's unfortunate. I think we might do... I don't want to waste my med kits when I have a full level up to use instead. Maybe we'll just go down here and fight some more people. There we are. Hello, robots. Get out of here. These robots do not want to play nice. Thankfully, they can't really hurt us very much anymore, so they're not too worrying. But if there are more drones in there, those lasers have pretty high penetration, and they'll still hurt despite our armor. I might just level up, though. There we go. We'll burn the level up to get some health back, and then we can deal with other things as they come. So, here we go. Forging. Ugh, good. Plus three. Blade. Plus three, awesome. Plus threes are always nice to see. Decipher, we'll take that one as well. Plus three, awesome. We'll go lockpick, awesome. Electronics, awesome. Mechanical, awesome. Computer, not so good. And pistol. Might as well level up pistol more because it's the main gun we've been using. We have the rifle, which is, of course, the laser carbine, but we're probably not going to be using it as much, so there's no point in focusing on it quite as much right now. Hello. All right, so that was what I was talking about earlier. That target test subject shot us with a shotgun and broke the item we were trying to unlock. <laughs> It's a bit different from the thing I mentioned at the beginning, which is that they can interrupt you, but it did both. It interrupted us and smashed the thing we were trying to access anyway. And I just walked through a door trap without noticing. Thankfully, it was a positive one, which means we can come use these again later when we see them. These red door traps will always increase our speed by 100%, meaning we can take four moves in one turn. Of course, shooting, or doing any kind of aggressive action, still does end your turn instantly. But it means that we can actually move around a little bit easier without wasting as much hunger, and we can have a little bit of an easier time outmaneuvering fast enemies. 
And this guy does not want to die. Thankfully, there he goes. And we still have that nice high speed. So let's take a look in here. Where's the Morgi drone? Are you still actually in here? No, there's no drones in here. That's surprising. Well, there might be something interesting in this weapons locker. I bet you it's an auto pistol. Nope. It is, in fact, a plasma grenade and a weapon biomod yellow. The different colors are basically all the same. For the different types, I don't believe they're... Uh, the the similarities don't carry over between different types of mods, but uh, if you get multiple of one, it'll always do the same thing in a given playthrough. Okay, what are we going to do here? We have a whole bunch of stuff in our inventory. I'm going to dump some of these rifle ammos because we don't really need all of the... No, I, don't, <laughs> I don't want those back. Uh, dumping some rifle ammos. I'm going to drop them here. We're also going to dump the... I don't want the scent glands. I need those later. The sonic nodules. We don't really use many of those. I have very rarely wanted to use whatever I found in a sonic nodule. We will open this armor system, though, and see if it has an armor bio mod in it, or armor, or what it is. Yep, armor bio mod, a little green cube. We really need to find an identifier or get the parts necessary to make some identifying circuits, but as it stands, we don't really have that option yet. All right, I guess I can just get rid of this rotten cheese or eat it. It might give me poison, but eh. I'm probably not going to use it for much else anyway. We'll just eat it. And that worked out fine. No poison happened. Okay. We can activate the surveillance console as well, get some extra computer skill. We might just fail and blow it up or trigger some alarms, but that's fine too. Nope, we've succeeded. There are two enemies in there, one coming out that door and one below us. That is fine by me. Let's activate it again. Can we get any more free skills out of it? No, we can't. It broke. All right, black trap there. Don't want to go too close to that. Hello, we got another diseased bears. Diseased bears are nasty. They don't move too fast, but they do. They do attack you. They manage to grab you generally, and that's not too much fun because you can't maneuver. And if there's a lot of other enemies nearby, that can actually cause you some serious trouble. But as it stands, he's not too dangerous. He just eats a lot of our ammo, unfortunately. Get out of here, bear. There we go. Okay. So, dead bears. Excellent. We could take this uh, disease extract, although I haven't found much use for those yet. I'll leave it there for now. Ah, kitchen, good. Can we get anything useful from this stasis pantry? We're using our last charge on our digital assistant, so we'll need to recharge him at some point. We found Kozanti Brie. That'll be useful, no doubt. That is an interesting food item because it heals you and regenerates some of your food. Unfortunately, we broke that. Can we actually fix the cooker? Yes, looks like we can. We have a 99% chance of success, so I'd be very surprised if we fail, but it is possible. There we go. Can we make anything interesting? Yes, we can. We can make energy drinks and sauce switches and all kinds of nice things. Energy drinks are one of the main reasons I've been collecting these primordial soups and exotic proteins. You can use them for other things, I believe. Do I have anything else here that uses them? Oh, steroidal enhancers are big. So I should probably not use all of my exotic proteins if I can help it. These boost your might, uh, basically for free. So, I'll use a bunch of these. I guess I might as well make all of them. We'll probably find more. Oh, I don't have enough. I don't have enough uh, giant mitochondria anyway. Okay, we'll make five energy drinks. 81% chance of success. That does mean if it fails, we lose all of them, which is kind of silly. I should probably do them in smaller batches, but I'll do those big batch anyway. Thankfully, it all succeeded. There's five energy drinks and two Kozanti Brie. That's amazing. Okay, so this is food that will heal us. These energy drinks increase our healing rate, give us food, and make us move faster, which is amazing. And generally, we should be pretty well equipped now. We're, have we actually gone down here? No, we have not. We haven't gone up to the top yet either. So we'll do both of those rooms, and then we will head down to the next... Whoa, hello. <laughs> Die. Die, you stinking robot. Get out of here. One of my friends calls robots robot. Robots? Robots. Yeah, robots to him are robots. So that's something. <laughs> stinking robots. Can we successfully repair any of these data consoles? I'll be surprised if we manage it, but we'll try anyway. Nope, not that one. Can we get this one? It's even less likely. Well, let's try it anyway. Can you get it? No. All right, no surprise there. That's fine, though. We have one more room to go adventure in. Let's see what's up here. I'm surprised, though. We found this key, and none of the doors have actually been closed. That's the first one that's been closed since I got that key, actually, I think. There we go. Dead robot. Are there any more hiding around here? I'm sure there are. Yes! There is a sec medium security bot mark two. Time to pull out the laser carbine again. Thank you very much. I could just shoot him with the rifle or the, the auto pistol, but I'd much rather kill him with this big gun because it's an opportunity to use it. And you know what? That's fine. Okay. There's a couple of energy cells. There's some more pistol rounds. I should grab those. I can just open this. Oh, no, I can't. That's right. That's actually really nice. Since this is an alpha door, it uses the alpha keys and not these kinds of keys, which might just mean that having this automatically opens all the doors, but I don't think that's normally how it works. Either way, interesting. We'll open up our repair station here and see if we can't get this thing fixed. We might have some things that could be used repairs. Do you have anything we can repair? Not really. Our Durablade has a ton of repairs left. The mag pistol's getting a little low, but it'll be fine for now. 
This auto pistol could use a repair, maybe. Yeah, I guess. 80%. We only have one repair. Let's repair it. Can we... If we succeed, that'll be interesting. If we fail, that'll also be interesting. We succeeded. Excellent. Back to 21. That's fine. Disintegration bays are nasty. Never touch them. Basically, they're a thing you... Only affecting them is trapping them. And if you fail to affect them, you get one of your items disintegrated. And I've heard somewhere that if you get really unlucky, it might just disintegrate you and insta-kill you. And that's never fun. So, let's spam some activations on these labs to get some free experience. We can get the bypass circuits, but the ones I really want are the diagnostics chips here. Because those give you a one-time analysis of one of these items, which would let us know if they're worth using or not. And I would love to just try them out and find out, but some of them have really nasty effects, which you really don't want to be equipping onto your stuff. So that's why we're not going to fiddle with it. We're just going to wait till we can find out for sure. Let's burn all of these lab stations. We might level up electronic skills somehow doing one of these anyway. Nope, that one broke it. Surprisingly enough, 99% chance it still failed. It is possible. All right, we're getting a bit hungry again, but we have plenty of food now, so I'm not too worried. I might try and make some cyber scramblers soon, because those are kind of fun. You can throw them at robots to make them go berserk, and they'll attack enemies nearby. So that's pretty nice. But I don't know if I necessarily want those right now, so I'll hold off for now. Can I grab the damper patch? Not yet. I'm sure if I eat something, I'll be able to. Is there anything else I can get rid of here? I could eat my brie, but that's a pretty silly thing to waste when we have full health, because that health regeneration on it is quite nice. Mm, I guess we'll just eat the bacon strips. Fat strips, if you put them in a purifier, turn into bacon, which is pretty funny. But for now, we're just going to eat them. They're not very healthy, but it's getting rid of that inventory space. Get us the damper patch in case we get radiated later. All right. That's another floor finished off. But I believe we have to end this episode here for now. So this has been Vanguard of Valor playing some more Sword of the Stars, The Pit, for you. If you have enjoyed the episode, don't forget to leave a like on the episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.